let them fight. Welcome to the Godzilla vs. Kong review prediction. Now, review prediction is basically where I state my overall feelings for a movie, any concerns I may have, and then predict what score I'm going to give a movie before I go see it, and then compare it to the actual score that I give it after I go see it in the review video. To start us off, I got to say the marketing team has been killing it with Godzilla vs. Kong. That first trailer, they came out guns blazing, got the adrenaline pumping, made me feel like I want to go fight somebody. Um, and then they've been dropping... TV spot after TV spot after TV spot showing us a little bit more each and every time. And I stopped watching it because I think they're going to end up showing a little bit too much, you know, but I know that the director also had that concern. So I just stopped watching the TV spots. I want to go into this with as little information as possible outside of the main trailer that we got. Now, whose team I'm on for me, Godzilla versus Kong is the equivalent of of my two favorite basketball teams battling it out in the finals i don't really it's hard for me to pick but if i had to pick a side i would have to be team kong he keeps to himself he's an introvert as long as you don't step on his land or disrespect his land you're cool by him godzilla he's more he's a bit of both he can be an introvert at times but also he can be very social as we've seen at the end of king of the monsters so i gotta go with the underdog on this one team kong is where it's at but i love both guys um i'm rooting for both of them now i know the posters say one will fall i know the director has said there will be a definite winner but i don't think anybody's gonna die in this except mecha godzilla uh, i think at the end they're gonna give each other respect and go their separate ways. But before Mechagodzilla comes onto the scene, somebody's going to get their ass beat. That's pretty much it. Um, now, if somebody does die, I will be highly surprised because I do believe this is not the final monster movie. Um, Godzilla's going to get a Godzilla 4, Kong is going to get Kong 2, and so on and so forth, and introduce new villains and all that good stuff. And luckily, theaters are reopening, so I get to see this on the big screen the way that it should be watched i'm glad i don't have to be forced to watch it on hbo max even though after watching it in theaters i will be watching this movie 10 more times on hbo max now my other concern outside of them showing too much is the human story side of things of the movie godzilla 2014 didn't care about the humans godzilla king of monsters didn't care about the humans kong skull island the human side of things was actually interesting. So I give it to him on that one. I feel like from the trailers, the human side of things have gotten better. Like we'll care a little bit more. They seem to have some comedy in there, but I hope they don't lay the comedy on too thick or try too hard. So I predict that I'm going to give Godzilla versus Kong a 4.5 out of 5. And that 0.5 is because of the human side of things. Um, there's a good chance that I just won't care. But... It, the movie could also end up being disappointing, which if this movie turns out to be bad, I will fight everybody in the theater. This is the way the traders have looked from everything we have seen. There's just too much energy, too much going for it that I honestly don't think this movie will be bad, but I could be wrong. Fingers crossed. I think I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Let me know down in the comments what your score prediction is. Who team are you on? Um... Also, any video topic requests or any topics that you would like to like for me to cover in the video, uh, leave that down in the comments below. Or you can send me an email. My email is in the description. Also, if you have any movie questions, email or leave it down in the comments below and I will cover it uh, in a video. Yeah, I'm excited for this. How excited are you for this? I am um, three more weeks, three more weeks and then it's on in all its glory, IMAX, big screen. I just, uh, anyway, um, any concerns that you have for the movie? Also leave those down in the comment. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. And I will catch you guys in the next video.